Hey everyone, we have come, well, to the beginning of a new month, which means we need to address the previous month. And by that I mean welcome to the July Monthly Favorites video. This is my longest running series on my YouTube channel where at the end of every month or at the very beginning of the next month, I go over what my personal favorites were, whether they're new to me or just products that I found myself using more. And I love sharing these with you because it's just the closest I can get to the good old fashioned, just sort of free association talking that I used to do more so in my early your videos and you know, I try to be a little more focused these days. I think more people appreciate it when I get right to the point than just babbling on as I'm already starting to do. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm really glad that you are here and I hope that you make it a permanent situation. So please hit that subscribe button. I like to number everything. I like lists. So I have things broken up into categories, beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle products. And I number them one through five, take the top five of each of those. And you can find them down in the description box and then also all of that will be pinned to the top of the comments to make it easier for you to find. There's also a shopping bag icon around here somewhere. I really need to learn where that is. And if you like to shop that way by just clicking on it, many of the products are linked there as well. Let's start since we are feeling a little nostalgic. July was the month that I started my YouTube channel and July 2024 marked my 14th anniversary here on YouTube. Crazy. Time certainly flies. So if you are here from the way back good old days, make sure you say Hello. So in that spirit, we're going to start with how this channel started, which was focusing on beauty. And you may notice I have nothing on my lips. So we're going to start with that favorite. So this is a set from Benefit and it is their Splash Tint Trio. There are more colors in this line, but this trio comes together. It's about 30 bucks for three of these products. And if you aren't aware, I'm wearing Invisalign. Well, I'm not currently. I took them out, but I've been wearing Invisalign trays and experimenting with lip products that won't rub off on the trays. Spoiler alert, everything rubs off on the trays, but some are less awful than others. And these little splash tints are amazing. So the color that I reach for the most is called Summer Fling, and they go on with a bit of a dewy, glossy finish. And then they stay that way for a little while, then they dry down to more of a matte finish. And then ultimately they're kind of just like a lip stain. So they are very friendly for people who have appliances in their mouth. And it has a nice little tip. So you can, if you're not talking, line your lips first and then go on in and fill it in. But in the interest of brevity, I'm just gonna slap it on. And you can absolutely layer this up and get a deeper color. What I like to do is do a couple of coats and then I will top it off with a, usually some kind of clear gloss like the YSL Candy Glaze. It's a nice, fresh, bright color. It really brightens up the whole face. Went pretty neutral with everything else. We'll be talking about a lot of that too. So I really like these. They are all very wearable colors. They're not specific to any particular season and the price right now is fantastic. Tarte has been my go-to brand for under eye concealers for a really long time. And I kind of jump around between two or three of their products, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. And now their Radiant Creamy Concealer from the Shape Tape line have all been sort of interchangeable but they released this one this month and this one is incredible. It's their creaseless creamy foundation. So why I love it is it gives me the creaseless properties of the original creaseless concealer, but that one was really thick and you really needed to apply it with a wet beauty sponge, but it gives you more brightening and creaminess like the ultra creamy shape tape. It's like those two had a baby and made the perfect perfect concealer, especially for older women. So I will put my shade because, oh no, I can read this, 22N light. I'm generally whatever the neutral, more lighter shades are, and this is a tan, so 22 neutral. Anyway, this one is fantastic if you've been trying to figure out how to get your under eyes brighter and cleaner looking and worrying about creasing and fine lines, this one is fantastic. I do highly recommend setting whatever concealer you use under your eyes with a light dusting of powder. It really does help ward off creasing. I have a couple of drugs store beauty products. I know I don't often reach for them, but the first is this one from e.l.f. It's their Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush, and I have it in the shade, why do they make this? Rose You Play, Rose You Slay. They make these so tiny in the print. I went a little heavy on the blush today. Like I went crazy on the blush today. So I've done better, but it's so user-friendly. It's a beautiful color. It's a great price point. It's similar to a product that Tarte makes. It's similar to a product that Charlotte Tilbury has. And they have a nice little shade range and I don't need to set it with another blush on top. Like it has some serious staying power that the other blushes I've tried don't quite have. And then this is the foundation I've been wearing almost 
almost every day in July. It's their e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. And I'm sort of in between tan shades. So this is my darker tan. I probably could have gone down one. This is shade 25 Light Neutral. I also wear the next neutral shade down, which is shade 21 Light Neutral. I'm sure as I go farther into the winter time, we'll get farther along. I'm generally right in the neutral range on beauty. So I love this. It's a beautiful, natural finish. It's not matte. It's not dewy. It's just kind of right in the middle. Super easy to wear. Wears all day. Great shade range. Very travel friendly. Great price point too. And then the last of my beauty favorites from July 2024 is this guy. I've had this one about a year. This is the Bondi Boost Blowout Brush Pro. It's very similar to the Revlon one I shared years and years ago. I dried my hair with this yesterday. I pulled it out from under the sink because I just wanted to get it fast and done quickly and have some volume and I forgot just how good these brushes are. It doesn't have to be this one specifically, although if you look, do you see how it's more of an oval and less of a round brush? So I do feel like it's a little wear more wearable. It's not so huge bouncy curls. I think it's very user-friendly. I usually go like this in the front. I don't have a tutorial. I think you'd have to refer back to my super old Revlon one to get the idea with some really annoying music over the top of it. But if you're in a hurry and you just want those big bouncy blowout waves, this one's fantastic. And it definitely does not get as hot as the Revlon one, so I'm less worried about damage. I don't think I would reach for this every time I blow dry my hair, but once a week, it's quick, it's easy. I love it. Although I should mention, I pre-dry it with my Dyson Airwrap, just the, the blower setting, just to get most of the wet out of my hair. So when it's about 80% dry, then I go in with the round blower brush. Alrighty, let's move on to clothing. So number one is actually this shirt. This is a new launch from Gibson Look. It is an open stitch Henley. It has some fun flowy sleeves. These buttons are functional here and it comes in oatmeal and I think it also may come in black as well. I'm wearing it in the extra small. These do run big. So if you're not sure what size you are, definitely size down one. Lots of room in the Gibson Look pieces. It's lightweight, it's airy. It gives you the kind of the texture look of a sweater without the warmth and weight of a sweater. And I do have a discount code, so do check the description box. I have a few discount codes this month. So if I can find a way to save y'all some money, I'm going to do it. Another favorite of mine from July were these denim trouser culottes from Chico's. They're the same wonderful material we all love in their original trouser jeans, just in a shorter length, the much wider leg. These bring me back to the 70s for sure. They come in petite and regular sizes. I just want to point out that I went with the regular size because I didn't want a fully cropped look. And so I think the inseam on the regular length is 26 inches and on petite is 24 inches. Just wanted to give that information to you. And I just wanted to point out that it gives you the look a little bit of a denim maxi skirt without all the fuss. Sometimes denim maxi skirts are pretty hard to wear. This is lightweight and flowy, and yes, you can wear them in the summer. I've been wearing them on repeat all through July. Definitely have to give a shout out to number three, this flutter sleeve dress with pockets. It's from Amazon. It is made out of essentially the softest jersey t-shirt material, so it's really lightweight and soft, flowy, has a really flattering V neckline, like a little bit of a notch collar neckline, pockets. It is tiered, but they flow close to the body. They skim the body, so it's not gonna give you a lot of extra fabric. Anyone who is a teacher would love this dress. It's a great dress for church, a great dress for just running around. You can dress it up or dress it down depending on your accessories, your shoes, etc. It comes in a ton of colors because it's from Amazon. Did I mention it has pockets? It deserves mentioning twice. It has pockets. It's a great dress. It's a great price point. I love denim shirts. They're hard to find to wear for summer because they can get quite heavy, but this one is absolutely perfect. And I love that it's not a traditional version with the ruffle front across the placket, or I should say down the placket in the front. And it does come in white and black as well. It was sold out for a little while on the Walmart website and then they brought it back, which makes me very happy. I hope they do that a lot. And I'm wearing it in the size extra small. I've said this a million times, but I want to stress it again. If you have have some sort of bottom, pants, shorts, skirt, that's a weird color that doesn't go with anything in your closet, pair it with denim, always works. And my last favorite for July 2024 clothing is this shirt dress with the contrasting trim. I wore it out recently on a couple's night out and it's just easy. I love something you just throw on, go, you feel super put together. I love this bright red. I just think that it just brightens up my face. It's an instant statement piece, but it's lightweight, it's flowy. It doesn't feel fussy. It has pockets. The buttons are fully functional all the way down. So you could unbutton it and wear it with like a tank underneath it and maybe add a big wide belt and some 
some cowboy boots, now you've got a whole Western floor. You can really do a lot with this, but I just wanted to keep it simple, wear it as is. And it was just, it was a great evening. So for me, it just reminds me of a fun night out with some new to us friends. Let's move on to accessories. And I don't wanna to go too much into the Nordstrom anniversary sale, because while there are some favorite pieces that I picked up, I haven't really been able to wear any of them because it's summer and I picked up a lot of fall pieces. But one of the pieces I picked up that I have been wearing quite a bit are these kitten heel shoes from Steve Madden. These little heels are amazing. I thought they were silly, I will admit. I didn't get it until I finally tried a pair on. I love that it gives the illusion of wearing stiletto heels with a very walkable heel. I mean, you could walk anywhere in these. And the silver are so fun. They do come in black and red as well. And I know now that there will be more kitten heels in my future, in the near future. I absolutely love them. Another pair of shoes that I've been wearing a lot throughout July are these espadrille wedges from Amazon from their drop line. They come in this color with some limited sizing, then they have a nude light beige color, and then I believe black as well. Very comfortable padding in the insole, great price point. It's a nice wedge without too much height, so you're not gonna feel like your ankle's gonna twist in these, and they're just you know, the essential summer shoe accessory. And even though we're focused so much on fall already, we still have a good month left of summer. Now let's talk a little bit about jewelry. So these came back into rotation a lot this month. These are faux pearl drop earrings from Walmart. I get compliments on them every time I wear them out. They are under $4. It's incredible. They're still fully stocked on the website. They are a true gem, no pun intended. On the opposite end of the budget spectrum, probably the earrings I've reached for the most between the, it would be between these and these. These are from Dean Davidson. They're their signature pave, I think it's their small hoop. So the front of it is gold and then the little tiny pave, I believe these are white topaz all along the back. They're pretty, they're elegant, they go with everything. And I've been less fussy in my jewelry choices for quite a while now. So these just are put, if you're traveling, if you just want one pair of earrings, they're great for dress up, they're great for every day. These are a beautiful size and shape, excellent quality. For my last accessory favorite, I wanna talk about this necklace that I've worn pretty much in every video, unless I just tried to put on fake tan and I forgot to put it back on. And I keep forgetting to link it in the description box. So I just wanted to take a moment and highlight it. I got it about a year and a half ago for Hanukkah. It's a Kendra Scott Star of David or Mogan David, as we say in Hebrew, a Jewish star, if you will. And it's, I believe, 14 karat gold, and it's real diamonds in here, so it is not very budget-friendly. It also is available in white gold. And I have been wearing it pretty much every day since, well, since October 7th, and always a little bit nervous about what statements might pop up on my videos wearing it, and I've never really talked about it, but I just have to say thank you because I haven't gotten a single negative comment, not one, and it's been months. In fact, quite the opposite. I've gotten so many amazing positive messages, messages of support, messages of empathy. It should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it. You guys are kind of amazing. We have built a pretty amazing community here on this little corner of YouTube, and I just want you to know how appreciative I am for your support, even if it's the silent support of you just clicking the video to watch and you never comment or anything, that's still a, a massive show of support. So I just want to say thank you. And I have linked this exact necklace, which unfortunately is quite expensive. I did find a less expensive version that still also has diamonds in it if you are interested. And I've linked it just below this one. Alrighty then, moving on to lifestyle and home favorites. Number one is relatively new to us, but it has been such a change in the quality of our life. For years, Michael and I both wake up with copious runny noses. We each have Kleenex boxes next to our beds. I go through two, three, four tissues every morning, sitting in bed, reading your comments and drinking my coffee. I know sleeping with the dogs probably doesn't help, but that's a non-negotiable. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out to get an air purifier. So I went on the internet as we all do. I did my research and this one, whose name actually escapes me, has been rated the number one air purifier for nine years running. I think it's by Wired Magazine or the New York Post or Times, I don't know. But it's consistently being rated number one and I thought, oh Lord, this one's gonna be like $10,000. No, it's currently on Amazon for about 150 bucks. So, and it's pretty. So we got it. I was skeptical, unpacked it. Super easy. You just open up the front lid and take the plastic off the actual filters and pop them back in. Every night since we have been waking up, I have not reached for a Kleenex. Hallelujah. This is amazing. We are definitely gonna order a second one for our family room. Probably all we need. I don't feel like we need one in every room in the house. Amazing. Great for apartments, dorm rooms, early bedrooms that dogs are sleeping in. It has been amazing. Huge quality of life improvement right there. My next favorite, it's a little weird, but so am I. The 
proper name are silicone chair leg protectors. These are basically like chair leg condoms. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. They are clear silicone. They're kind of stretchy. They come in round or square. I got the round because all of my chair legs are round. They have the felt protector on the bottom. If you are sick of hearing your chairs screech along the tile or the hardwood floors, game changer. And you really can't see that. I mean, if you look closely, you're going to notice that they're on the feet of your chairs, but they're so much easier to get on and they're, they're not going to wear down unevenly. And they definitely killed that screechy like nails on the chalkboard sound. And I got the pack of 24, I believe I got two boxes of them. Amazing. They're on all our dining, no, not dining, kitchen chairs. And I put them on our bar stools as well. For number three, for home and lifestyle favorites, I need to give a shout out to these boxwood balls. I don't know what else to call them. I decided to spruce up the front porch a little bit. I wanted something that wasn't specifically plant seasonal. I could keep those boxwood balls in those planters year round. In the winter, I could add some pretty white and blue lights. In the fall, I could throw some leaves, whatever. I could decorate around them and I don't have to schlep them on and off the porch every time the seasons change. And I'm not 100% in love with the tall uh, boxwood topiary, but I really love the balls. So definitely need to link those and they are specifically made for outside and they are UV resistant. So they're not supposed to fade for number four. I've been talking about dust a lot and our allergies have just been out of control. There's construction going on in the Canyon behind our house, lots of dust. So in the anniversary sale, I actually picked up the Dyson V15 cordless vacuum and it came, we put it together. We started vacuuming. Michael fell in love with it and immediately placed an order for a second one. So now we have two, one for the downstairs and one for the upstairs because we are crazy people. Unfortunately, as I'm filming this, it is sold out on the Nordstrom website and I don't have quite as good a price to link it to. That was terrible grammar, but I think you know what I mean. So I will link it to the lowest price that I could find, but I have to tell you, it's fine for carpets. I'm sure it's great for carpets, but for me, our first floor is all hard surface and it has this little laser thing so you can see all the dust on your floor and it's either horrifying or incredibly satisfying to vacuum. I've been vacuuming every day. It's like a laser. It's like a video game and it's even more fun to do it at night with the lights off. It's so fun. I cannot stress how, I mean, it better be fun for what I paid for this vacuum. So anyway, if you're suffering with a lot of dust you and it's in your budget, you got to give this thing a try. It is, I don't know why I'm having so much fun. I'm getting my steps in vacuuming every day. And then for my last home and lifestyle type favorite product is this pet bed that I picked up to go in front of our fireplace. It matches our decor perfectly. It's a little more of an orthopedic. It's not quite as squishy. We have a senior dog, although technically Rowdy will be a senior dog in September, which is crazy. We got it thinking Rowdy would like it, but no, Wrigley has taken it over. And I just like that it's not quite so, it's long enough, but it's not as deep as other ones. So it fits perfectly just in front of the fireplace. It doesn't block the walkway through the room to our bedroom and Wrigley loves it. He's in it every day and Rowdy sleeps in it too, which is unique. They usually don't like the same bed. Wrigley has been loving it in this picture. It's just so cute. So those were my July, 2024 favorites. Let me know if any of these made it home to you. And if not, what were some of your favorites? It doesn't even have to be an object. Did you have a favorite moment of them? month. Let me know. Share your good news in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I've got a lot of fun things planned for August. So I hope you stick around and that I see you in the next one. Bye.